This week marks 80 years since the nation repealed prohibition, making it legal once again for some companies to produce and distribute alcohol. In Connecticut, one local liquor company is celebrating in a way that has never been done before in the nutmeg state. Tonight, News 8's Josh Scheinbloom shows us how. Allison, can you line up as well as Cork? For the liquor connoisseur, the taste of a craft moonshine on the palate is the ultimate treat. It doesn't have that bite, it doesn't make you go blind, none of those kind of things. It's actually exceptionally smooth. And while every drinker has their favorite way to indulge, in Connecticut, some prefer their drinks served with a bottle of heritage. A lot of people don't realize that moonshine has been produced in New England for hundreds and hundreds of years. Adam and Von Gutgen is the co-owner of Onyx Spirits in East Hartford and comes from a long line of those involved in the Connecticut liquor trade, especially in Middletown. My family had uh, the Chafee's Hotel with the, uh, the speakeasy. That's code for a legal bar. During Prohibition. Prohibition is something Adam says they've been thinking about ever since his company first started producing moonshine two years ago. Thursday, December 5th, is the National Prohibition Repeal Day. So we're celebrating our 80th anniversary of repealing Prohibition, and Connecticut's first whiskey is coming out on Friday at the same time. And they're the ones making the amber spirit. Don't pull it. You gotta leave it on the table. And if you were hoping to get one of Connecticut's first glasses of aged whiskey, good luck because there are just a couple places where you can get a glass. Gee, maybe we'll get more wood. One spot is at Middletown Restaurant Crust. It's exciting, that's what it is, exciting. And it was important to us that for this very first run that we, we allow that only to our Connecticut stores. A drink that's been made for hundreds of years, being produced legally for the first time in the nutmeg state ever. That's special, it's Connecticut history. In East Hartford, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.